Hello guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button, please do subscribe. Good evening. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 8.09pm. It's 8.09pm. I just thought I'd catch up on what's happened during the day. So, this afternoon, I took Max out for a walk by myself around the Rochester Riverside field and I let Max off the lead. And the reason I let Max off the lead was because I thought there was nobody on the field. I get three quarters of the way around the field and I realise that Max is barking at a chap, a man, he's barking at a man. And the reason why I didn't notice there was anyone about ten minutes behind, well not, well a few minutes behind me was because the chap had a jumper on that was the same colour as the grass. So he was camouflaged. So there was a guy walking a few minutes behind me and I hadn't noticed because his sweatshirt was the colour of the grass and he had curly hair like my father Derek had when he was young and he had a cap on and he had a green, a green sweatshirt the same colour as the grass that's why I, I couldn't see him. So Max was... Um, barking near the guy's feet so I ran over and I put the lead on Max and I got him away it wasn't hurting the guy he was just barking he was Max was protecting me I don't know much about chihuahuas but I know they make a noise and Max was really protecting me so I walked over and I put the lead on Max, I apologised to the bloke and then I realised he was like an American Indian. He had dark colour skin and he was foreign and he called Max Braveheart. He said his Max was a brave heart. So I walked back to my flat and then I went out to the co-op. I put Max in the flat and I went out to the co-op, Rochester Riverside. So I went out to the co-op and I got myself a, a, a cheeseburger, which I've eaten. So I ate a cheeseburger and I got some Cadbury's mini rolls. And I got some Pringles, sour cream and onion, and I got some Horlicks. Instant hot malty goodness, just add water. I also got a Cadbury's ice cream, which I've eaten, and two Turkish delights. So I'd gone into the co-op. And I used, I also got myself a hot chocolate and I used the self-assessment checkout with cash and coins to get the first lot of shopping. Then I got a hot chocolate at the Costa Coffee Express machine in the co-op with a Cadbury's Flake ice cream. So I made two purchases, two transactions. And there was a really good looking dark haired guy getting his shopping. My hair is ginger. So there was a dark haired guy of about 25 getting his shopping in front of me, a builder. I took my stuff out, came up in, into my flat and I started to feel cold. It's been damp dismal and quite cold and windy today with no sunshine. So I watched Ted Bundy on DVD, the serial killer Ted Bundy, with a blanket over my legs. I 
I'd also been listening to YouTube music, various artists, various different artists. And so I just settled down and watched Ted Bundy. Then I had a WhatsApp message saying would I like to meet, um, meet members of my family. So I met, I, um, I waited. Then I was told they were going past Asda and they picked me up outside the flats and um, took me to McDonald's in Stroud. And I, first of all, I had a toffee latte and my, members of my family had drinks and I said, would you like a burger? Because I would have paid for the burger. Nobody wanted anything to eat. So I said, would you like a burger? Would you like a burger? And no, but, and then um, somebody actually bought me a Happy Meal. And I got fresh and juicy fruit bag, which has got apples and grapes in. So I'm gonna heat it. I've got a hamburger, original and tasty. And, this box has got the masked singer on it. The masked singer. My transaction was 009 and I was in McDonald's, Strood, at 7.24 p.m. 7.24, I've got the receipt here, 009. Zero, zero, nine. So I've got a masked singer, it's a toy or a book, so we've got a masked singer toy, yeah, masked singer, little hanging toy there. Been to McDonald's for ages. I haven't. I'm gonna just heat it up. I just I had my toffee latte, and um, it was very very packed in there. Uh, there was people I recognised from Chatham, uh, people that usually walk up and down the high street. There were schoolgirls in there. Um, there was cars with similar similar number plates to the guy upstairs going past the window. Uh, I'm not stupid, I'm very, very intelligent and observant. And there was number plates, similar to his upstairs, going past McDonald's window. Similar shaped cars. Um, his girlfriend is blonde, so there was a lot of blonde women walking past McDonald's window. Uh, pretty blondes, like the one at number three, that knocked on my door when I was having problems with takeaways. And she went downstairs and gave the takeaway back to the driver for me. I'm a woman, I took my hat off. There are video cameras in McDonald's, like there is everywhere, security cameras. Um, I noticed the exclusive number plates going past myself and so did other people notice the exclusive number plates. So there was a few of them, um, like the one nun, there's a car around the Rochester Riverside with the word nun on it, N-U-N, nun. So we had a chat. And uh, I was asked, what am I doing for the rest of the evening? I was going to take Max into their car and we was going to take Max for a walk. But I'm going to take Max out like I did last night, later on in the evening, probably in the dark. Right? I don't have a car. I don't drive. I don't work due to disability. And I own a chihuahua. So 
I going to take Max out for a walk by myself? And how many more times do I have to prove that I'm a woman? I don't drive. And I'm a single woman looking for a, for a, for a single male. My mother Jennifer called 32 minutes ago. So my mum Jennifer called it 32 minutes ago. I've only just come back from McDonald's in Strood. She's run five times today. I had a call from my son in London at uh, 20 past 12. Um, I'm okay. Um, I haven't had a McDonald's for ages. I haven't eaten the burger yet. I went into the co-op to get food. I got myself a burger, so I ate a cheeseburger. Um, obviously, I like the Tropicana juice, um, so I'm going to drink that. If you shake my fruit juice, I'm going to drink the Tropicana that you get with the meal deal. Kids meal. Yeah, I took my hat off. Um, I think when you first walk into a building, and I'm a person that doesn't like crowds of people, and there's a lot of younger people in McDonald's, isn't there? There's school kids, there's teenagers. And I, I just don't, it doesn't bother me anymore. And I know I, I've had trouble in some McDonald's uh, with people being extremely rude. Uh, but um, I just sat with my back turned to everybody anyway, so I wasn't really staring at anyone. Um, it's just like everybody is laughing their heads off, like they're stunned everywhere I go. That's, that's all it is. So me and the rest of my family got inside the car after we'd finished our toffee lattes and drinks. I got into the car and there was a couple of lads with their girlfriend parked in the car next to Mark, to the one I was in, and throwing their rubbish out of the car window onto the car park floor. Just throwing their rubbish everywhere. Nobody cares what they do anymore. Told you. And um, there was a spot on the LBC radio, LBC radio about people shoplifting. They're just walking into shops and taking the stock out because they can't afford to feed their. They're stealing baby milk, baby formula, because they can't afford to feed their babies. You've got parents pinching baby formula, baby stuff. Just walking into shop and pinching it. And um, one bloke said he felt like crying. Desperate mothers pinching baby food, baby milk. I, I mean, that was the state the country's in. Um, what can I say? I don't know what's happening in the world. It's like I go out of my flat um, and walk into... Um, cannabis and marijuana and people are just laughing they're stoned out of their brains and they don't know they're just laughing some i used to walk into wilkinson in chatham and, and wilco staff would just be laughing their heads off and sainsbury's like they're on something because i don't see what's so fucking funny to be quite honest it's not normal behavior it's not and I'm sick and tired of people saying I'm not normal and there's something wrong with me and I walk into a shop and, and people are giggling and being stupid. Because I've grown up from that. I don't write the diary anymore. I wrote it because I thought I was going to get um, compensation and police support and backup and it's just getting worse. Uh, I haven't had a takeaway, uh, I don't know if there was any takeaways delivered to my door last night because I was out 
uh, till nearly 10. And I don't seem to have any at the moment. But I am happy with who I am. And I sat there and people can laugh, they can make stupid noises. If you show that you're confident and you don't care what people think, then people get, get on with their own business and they bugger off. Life isn't about what you look like or the size that you are. It's about how you are and how you treat people and what you do in this world. It's not about what you look like or your size. And I mean, some people really do need to grow up. They really do. So it was a very nice toffee latte. Very strong. I think that they don't fill it up to the top of the cup. It was not full. Um, I think people are shocked. Uh, they expect uh, you look to look like something close up and you're not. You're a human being. They, they have this picture in their head of what you're supposed to look like and then when they see you face to face, they have a fucking shock. And it's not a nasty shock. But uh, nobody owns me, I, I'm not, I don't belong to anybody, and nobody triggers me anymore. So the coughing and the stupid behaviour is just ignored, and I carried on talking and carrying on with my own business. And if, you know, if people want to laugh behind your back, they want to make noises, that's fair enough. But when they start butting in and being abusive, that's when you deal with it. Um, so my day started with him coughing upstairs. <laughs> That's how it started this morning, how it normally starts. I've been tone deaf to it lately and haven't mentioned it, but it was quite bad this morning. He went out. He returned early because he's been coming back about after eight. And he returned just after six this evening before I met my family downstairs and we went to McDonald's, which is a coincidence, he came home early. And uh, replicas of his car were going past McDonald's. Uh, half his number plate. And uh, doubles of his girlfriend. And also a double of the woman that knocked on my door and she was blonde in a brown like sweatsuit and there was one walking past McDonald's with one like one of his bags that he carries but uh, my hair's ginger and I like it I like the way it is and I like myself and I like the way I am and it's not for other people uh, to judge me. And I don't take any notice if they do. Because I don't go into McDonald's and look at people. I go in McDonald's to get uh, food, sit down and speak to people that really care about me. Not idiots that are just stupid and being silly. So when people learn to grow up and act like adults, I'll talk to them like an adult. But when somebody's laughing, being stupid, and acting like they're high as a kite, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. Because it was like my ex was always drunk. And then you see the real person, when they're not stoned, when they're not drunk, you see the nasty person that's underneath, don't you? Because I got called, I love you, I love you, when he was drunk and he had his hands all over me. But when he was sober, he was rude and nasty to me. I'm quite happy, I tell you what guys, I'm quite happy and contented by myself. I actually don't need a partner. I'm quite happy.
happy and contented by myself. I'm not even looking anymore. I'm not even looking because I've taken some advice and I need to get to know myself, look after myself before anybody else can. And I'm quite happy. Quite happy. I'm not missing out on anything. See you later. <laughs>